three. How do you want it? How do you want it? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Crush. Let's get into the vid. So, what are your thoughts on all the celebrity, his celebrity friends that denounced uh, those allegations and were like, "This is false," and you know, liars. Say, yeah, should they come? Should they speak liars. up now? Should they speak up now? I think it's getting a little too late for those who are complicit. You know they're lying, and of course they're not going to speak up. Too afraid to come forward because the diddler has been running around with impunity. Uh, it's time for all of the victims to come forward. But for the people that have been denying it, you know what? Let let's not be coy. You know I am Jaguar, so let let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it a bean. Stevie J should be charged. Mary J. Blige should also be charged. Jennifer Lopez should definitely be charged. Uh, should I keep going? I mean, you're hitting it on. <laughs> Jay-Z should be charged. Khaled should be charged. Rick Roth should be charged. Usher should be charged and tried with him. Because remember, Usher discovered Justin Bieber. Usher hand over Justin Bieber to Diddy. Diddy took Justin Bieber's virginity. So yeah, Usher, he's in that circle. And he recently deleted all his tweet on Twitter. The man deleted all his tweets involving him and Diddy. That says a lot. Off of Justin Bieber alone. Now, Carisha and Rick Ross just sat down together in an interview. Yeah, I know. Two diddy do our bops. What a reunion. Only thing they got in... in uh. <laughs> now, well, well, did he start snitching? <laughs> she threw it up. I think he's going to tell. Yeah, you, you... He better. He better. But the only thing I'm interested in him talking about. I am positive Diddy's going to snitch. The man snitched on Shine and sent him to jail, basically. When he had that shooting situation going on, you know, that whole case of him, him shooting that woman and Shine is supposed to be on his side. But he had his own team, his own defense team. They testified against Shine and sent this man to jail. So if Diddy's willing to do that to protect his freedom, I don't think anybody is safe. We can confidently say Diddy will do what he needs to to be free. If that means telling on Jay-Z, Usher, whoever it is, I am confident this man will do whatever he needs to to see the sun again. Is everything he knows about Kathy Coriana White? See, I know you know what happened to Corey. <laughs> Did he? I know that. You and Jay-Z. Down in Vegas in town with Claudia. Why don't you just talk about Kathy? That might help. That might help a lot. <laughs> I was I was saying if those who don't know who Kathy is. Kathy Coriana White, Jay Z's pregnant mistress, who died twenty four hours after she announced that she was going public with their relationship and the baby. Wow, he was married to Beyonce. Now that's some wild allegation. That's crazy. But to no surprise, all these celebrities got a lot of secrets. Or well, are you the one who paid the same coroner that you... Mm. <laughs> oh, Diddy, you should talk. Do you feel... In, do you he, feel he will. The federal government will probably speak to Jay-Z in regards... They already have. 
Oh. They talked to him before he made that Super Bowl announcement. And that interests him. He was questioned by the feds before he made the Super Bowl announcement. Blink twice. <laughs> oh, this about to get fun for me. Yeah. Let me you know, let me there's, there's nothing like have you ever seen what happens to a rat when it's trapped in a heated environment? Oh, it'll eat through anything. Claw eat its way through anything. So I want y'all to imagine this. I got Jay-Z on his back with his stomach exposed. Diddy is the rat that I'm using. And I'm going to take a metal trash can and put it right on Jay-Z's stomach with Diddy right in there. And I'm going to heat that bitch up and see what he eat through. I know she can't wait. And if I am Jay-Z, I'm nervous. Because like I said, Diddy is not built for jail. Diddy is not built for prison. No way. And I wouldn't trust Diddy, man, because once again, he will do what he needs to, to be free. So if I am Jay-Z and Diddy have a lot of dirt on me, oh man, I'm sure he's sweating bricks, as he should be. You Sean, both of y'all. <laughs> I got you. I told you. As uh, the U.S. attorney came on and spoke on the uh, indictment, Next to him, you see six uh, U.S. Uh, uh, AUSAs, um, his assistant attorneys. I believe one uh, pregnant, uh, one a little older, but all white women. What are your thoughts on that when you see six women assisting the district, uh, assisting the U.S. attorney? To... A small chorus of, of Nancy Graces? Basically. I think it's fabulous. <laughs> Need it. Sean P. Combs, he's a bad guy. Man. Can't wait to see it. Would you like a woman to to be the uh, the the, uh, the judge over this thing? Oh, that would or... be beautiful. That would be beautiful. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know who I would rather see a woman preside over? Jennifer Lopez. When she's no. finally held accountable for the part she played in the harm that was put on Natanya Rubin's life. Do you think they'll bring up charges on Jennifer? Lopez? They better. She committed perjury. And the attorney that was representing the defense side of that suborned perjury. Last time I checked, there's no statute of limitation on perjury. We can start there. Let's bring Jenny to the cell block. She's been to every other block. You saw what happened to Little Kim with her perjury situation. She had to go sit down for a minute. You know, just a little time, but she had to do some time. So she's right. When it comes to perjury, no one is exempt. Sometimes they'll open up a case to bring light on other cases. Do you feel the shine, uh, the club uh, night with him and Jenny, Jennifer Lopez, will come back to light? Oh, absolutely. It has to. It has to. If it was good enough to be content on Law and Order for what? The 12th season, episode 9? The, the one episode, Three Dog Night, that they have done a public statement saying they will never air on television again. Matter of fact, they went and they edited it out in the box set. They replaced it with an episode that's now gray. But it was Three Dog Night. And the part of Jennifer Lopez was, was played by Carrie Washington. Idris Elba played the role of Diddy. Mm. Gotta find this episode. You gotta look hard. It took me and Odell forever to get it, and we have to track down one of the original box sets. 
man. This woman is a unofficial detective. <laughs> like, seriously. Jaguar Wright is, a, is an unofficial detective. She knows the when, what, who, and why. You want to know something? Go speak with her. I'm sure she'll have what you need. Wow. Yeah. And guess what happened in the end of that episode when they finally tracked down the starlet who they were hiding from everyone so she never had to testify. The male rapper took the charge so the case was closed and that's when she finally admitted it, that it was her that did the pow-powing and they just let it ride. Isn't that funny? How similar does that sound to what really happened with J-Lo, Shine, and Diddy? And you want to know what's funny? Ice-T knows a lot of people from that time, and he used to frequent at that club. He would have known all of the real details of everything that happened that night. And rather than someone forcing it back into the law's hand, it became an episode for Law & Order SVU. A lot of money was made off of that. Natanya Rubin has not begun to see reparations for what happened to her life. How did NBC get to profit off of it? Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. If it was good enough to be a, te a television episode, it should be good enough to be reopened for charges. Because clearly there were other people that knew the truth of that story. The, f the fact that uh, Keefe D is in jail for Pox murder, do you feel like they may go even deeper to the 90s in regards to just asking? They have to, because that's the beginning of everything that's leading up to the tragedies that are about to happen now. Because if they go deeper into the 90s, they might find out, oh, Diddy killed Biggie or something like that. You never know what they might find. And if that's the case, it's over for Diddy. I mean, it's already kind of over, but if something like that was the you know, surface, oh, Diddy got Biggie murdered? Oh, man. That would be next level. We have to go back to the beginning. Mm. Everybody knows at this point in time, Keefe D ain't do it. He's already made it very clear he had a profit deal, which means he's been working with the government all this time. When are people going to start asking how long Diddy and Jay-Z have been cooperating with the government as well? Everybody was cooperating with the feds but them? Doesn't make any sense. What I do know, though, is... That everyone is starting to notice things that they didn't notice 15, 20 years ago. Suge isn't looking like the monster that everyone painted him out to be. And Diddy sure ain't no quiet boy. And that's the part that's crazy. Diddy seems 10 times worse than Suge. We all looked at Suge Knight like he's a monster. You know, he was, he was a really bad guy. But did he make this guy seem like a priest? This current situation? Shook don't look half as bad. And that's crazy to think or say. It, it, the more we start to uncover things, we're starting to realize that whatever we've, whatever we've been led to believe, it's actually the exact opposite. That's a fact. Like I told you, you guys got to talk to that girl, Love Jones. Thanks. And talk about her times last summer on a sprinter van and where she was put in the van giving a drink of De Leon, she said it didn't feel like an alcohol high. It felt different. She felt tingled all over um, almost instantly. Y'all need to talk to her. Because she was... They be doing a lot of creepy stuff, man. Spiking women's drinks and just all sorts of creepy madness. This is why you can't trust anybody. You can't drink from anybody. You go to a party. You got to be very focused because they'll spike your drinks, get you drunk, you know, out of your mind and take advantage of you. Partying with, I believe, Justin and Christian Combs. 
This was last summer. It's bittersweet. I I'm just praying that they will keep him in because I think that will give a lot of victims the courage to say and speak and come forward. There are a lot of victims. They're good for it. I'm going to keep doing it. The Jay-Z victims are going to be worse. They're worse. Because of the psychological torture that comes along with what he does. Like do, you I say, think, do, do you think... Man, this is just crazy. It feels like, it feels so surreal. Like, we're in a time, this is a situation where Diddy might do life or whatever he's going to do. Jay-Z might be in trouble. A lot of people might be in trouble. So you have a lot of celebrities, high profile, sweating bricks right now. Because there's a lot to unpack, unfold. And we are going to see how this all plays out. I think Jay-Z Jay is scared right now. Oh, he's terrified. He has to be. He's terrified. He's losing confidence everywhere. But the only confidence he's worried about keeping secure are those white boys that he worked for. That's his only loyalty. Not even to his wife is he loyal. But what, what do you think, and just, again, hypothetically, if 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 his kids, as young as they are, asked, Daddy, who's that man on TV getting arrested? Isn't that your friend? What would his response be? He wouldn't respond. He just he would just laugh and walk away. That's Sean Carter. It's crazy, man. Everybody sold their soul. Diddy, Jay Z, Russell Simmons. You could keep going on and on. Everybody had to sell their soul to get to this level. Russell Simmons had that situation. He ran across the waters, went to another country just to be safe. Now, did he have his situation going on right now? He's locked up. Jay-Z sweating bricks. Like, this is just crazy. All of the biggest moguls in hip-hop, they're all facing some kind of issue. All the empires, they're all falling. And that's sad, man. He doesn't own up to anything. Ever. Gaslight you right in your face. Do a smooth. He's a sociopath. He doesn't have any real feelings or emotions. Everything is transactional. They're all like that. You know? Every single one of them. I honestly, I think the only time he's really comfortable and happy in his own skin is when he's laying in the warm embrace of a man. Now that's crazy. Jack, come on. Jack. What? <laughs> come on, man. You can't paint what? those kind of pictures in the people's heads, man. <laughs> Not Hove, man. Not Jay-Z. Come on. I saw of him looking very happy in the embrace of a man. Come on, man. Don't do Hove like that. I didn't want to believe it. I can't put it past mm. him. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Well, Jack. I, I, I got to then it all made sense, you know? Jack, what was the, the last conversation that you and JC had? How did that go? He told me he was going to end my career and make sure no one in the world ever knew I existed. And I As always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy.